you were practicing for so long, for months or even years, to perform that one piece, or say three pieces on the piano in front of someone, in front of your loved ones, in front of your family members, your friends, at a holiday party, or even in the official formal recital. Have you caught yourself hearing the director of that recital telling you, hey, are you ready? You're up next. Your turn. And you go, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Just a minute ago, I was a cool as cucumber, so to speak. I was confident. I felt calm, relaxed. All of a sudden, after hearing those words, are you ready? You're up next. All of a sudden, you feel like running away. So guys, are you really ready, genuinely and sincerely ready to learn how to overcome that stage fright and or nervousness to perform in front of anybody or public or your friends? If you're ready, let's go. <laughs> or good afternoon out there to all the piano lovers, piano enthusiasts. So welcome back to Concert Pianist Piano Coaching. My name is Anna Chepikova. I'm internationally certified, classically trained concert pianist, internationally acclaimed piano instructor and artist of solo piano. Welcome back to all my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, like and share. Please support the music and do support other music channels and the instructors who are delivering those golden nuggets to you daily or weekly and help you with you your should piano know. goals. You should be prepared and train yourself how to overcome that stage fright and or performance anxiety. And to be honest with you, between you and I, it's super simple. It takes a little work, but it's kind of a fun work that we could all use in so everyday So what is it? That stage fright, exactly. Stage fright is simply one of the forms of anxiety. And like most anxieties, it's about our brain and our body combined mistakenly believe that you are in a situation of some sort of danger or God forbid some threat. And even yes, if we right. clearly know, clearly see, clearly realize there's no actual danger per se or a threat to us at that particular moment, however, our body responds in a specific way. only a minute ago, you were calm. All of a sudden, your heart is pumping and feels like it's about to just jump out of your chest, right? Your stomach is feeling funny. Your palms or your hands are becoming sweaty. You feel almost a little dizzy. Your legs maybe go numb or start shaking. What is Guess going what? on? Nothing too extraordinary is going on. All you've got is that little stage fright or also known as performance anxiety. Examples of live performances on stage? Enjoy. Our first performer tonight is an accomplished Russian pianist. With over 20 years of performing experience of all various styles, from classical to jazz, pop, ragtime, and Broadway, please help me welcome Anna Chapakova.
of all and foremost, let yourself off the hook. Don't think that what you're experiencing is so unusual. Don't think that you are such a unique, a different case. A lot of celebrities, a lot of athletes, famous performers, famous Hollywood stars have Here's been your there. tip number one. Guys, do visualize. Do close your eyes and visualize your most perfect in your mind, most ideal performance. You're hitting every note correctly. You're comfortable. Your dynamics are flawless. Your technique is sparkly clean and you're connecting with each one of your audience members, right? These kinds of positive way of thinking and envisioning yourself given your ideal and most perfect performance not only help you feel calmer, more confident, they also set you up for a success. They set you up for one of your most memorable and one of your most successful performances. Our brain is extraordinarily powerful. Our brain is flexible. Do let your brain do that work for you. You're worth it. Okay, guys, the next tip. Listen carefully. Please avoid anything fast. Do not walk fast. Do not talk too fast. Do not think too fast. Slow before down. Before an audition, before a job interview, before going up on stage, your body is flooded with adrenaline. You simply slow everything down. You're calmer. Your thoughts are calm. Your way of thinking is calm. Your speed of thinking is more calm and slow. The way you talk, you talk slower. The way you walk, you walk slower. Think about it. No fast moves whatsoever. So, since we are already a little bit nervous on the day of recital, there's no need to charge yourself up any further, right? So, actually, caffeine, not good. Think about herbal tea, better yet, water. I recommend water because it's one of my favorite drinks. Pure, great, clean water. No caffeine, okay, before performance. Little simple tip, but so just important. stay away from caffeine before performing on stage. You will be grateful you did. I promise. Here's the next tip, guys. Even if you don't feel like, say, smiling or, of course, laughing, nothing is funny because I'm about to perform and get nervous, right? Even if you don't feel like smiling, and I'm talking about physical act of smiling, right? Force yourself to smile. Right before the stage, right before going up, to perform next in the recital, it doesn't matter. Force that smile, you know why? Our brain figures that if you're smiling, you must be happy. Well, why don't we go ahead and enjoy the actual video example of what I'm talking about? Enjoy. <laughs> cannot be underestimated. I'm talking about taking those two or three deep, very deep 
breaths, holding that breath and release it very slowly afterward. This is a magnificent tool to calm down your nerves and your performance the next anxiety. Step, and this one, um, I have personally been using since the age of five, because the age of five was uh, my first uh, appearance on big stage, and uh, that was in St. Petersburg, Russia, where I grew up and where I received my music education. But that is the subject for my next video, and I'm really planning and hoping to release that video pretty soon for you guys because a lot of comments, a lot of messages I received were asking me when I would publish or upload a video on um, my own personal story on what that was like to be raised, uh, to be growing up and be receiving a master's degree in solo piano performance in St. Petersburg, Russia, what that experience was like. So please do stay tuned, please do subscribe, click notification bell so you will not miss any of my upcoming content. That's in my plans, I promise to release that video soon enough. If you're performing a piece that has some tricky spots that you're most nervous about, or say those fast episodes that always seem harder than slow ones, do not ever play them fast for at least two days before your performance. Hold off on playing them fast. Leave your best for the stage. Leave your best for your actual Not performance. To over practice before going up on stage. To not overdo it. To not over perform prior to going on stage. Our goal is to keep and save all the best, all the freshest, all the most vibrant for the stage and not to waste any of it prior to going on stage in that rehearsal room. So I do hope you guys found this video useful and those tips and methods how to overcome that stage fright and nervousness and what to do about it, how to do it, you will start applying immediately. And it doesn't just apply to piano performance. It can be applied in every single situation in our lives, if you think I about. now do offer a 15 minutes free consultation or free interview that will last for 15 minutes on Zoom or Skype or any other source that's out there available. So keep that in mind. I will offer you 15 minutes free meeting. We can get to know each other. You can let me know your goals and aspirations in piano because I do take on only serious students and serious students only. So I appreciate you valuing your time and I do value my own Please time as well. So. See the description below. It has all the links. If you're interested in one-on-one piano lessons, www.annachepikovapiano.com is the website. Please do send your inquiry for one-on-one. Thanks all for your subscriptions, for your likes and shares. And I do encourage you to support other channels as well. All of us music educators work extremely hard and we love what we do. We're educated in what we do. We spend years of schooling on what we do and now sharing this with you, sharing those secrets or tips or methods or golden nuggets, if you will, of our own effort we've put into our education, of our own time that we spent studying in order to be able to convey that message to all of you. Subscribe with notification bell right next to it. I know it's so wonderful for joining us for this awesome topic and I hope that from now on neither of you will be ever experiencing that stage fright or at least you will not be thinking of it as of something you cannot handle because you can handle you're the best look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself you know what I'm pretty good do that 
Thank you all for watching once again. Have a great day, everyone, and make it a musical one.